Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So it's Saturday night for me, it's the 18th of May, and this is uh, Victoria Day weekend in Canada, so I got Monday off. Um, but, uh, so if you hear some uh, fireworks going off in the background, yes indeed it is fireworks and not firearms. Um, so yeah, you may just hear, hear those going off. Um, this is kind of, uh, Victoria Day weekend is kind of... Uh, uh, lovingly known as May 2-4 weekend here in Ontario. Uh, whether it is across the rest of Canada, I don't know, but um, I know it's not in the 24th this year, but um, the whole May 2-4 weekend idea is that uh, people generally get together in their backyards, whatever, and hang out. And, you know, the 2-4 the is supposed to be the 24th, but it's also 2-4 a beer, so people usually pick up a case of beer, hang out, relax, shoot off some fireworks, or most of them, or a lot of them, go up north to the cottages and stuff. Uh, and um, open them up for the spring since it is really the first long weekend of the, the first solid long weekend of the spring so yeah so if you hear the fireworks that's what's going on all right so um, I have gotten almost all the lance repaired the direwolf still in progress right now but um, we're just gonna take a few missions today I'm actually kind of feeling kind of tired and it's a little late at night um, but we're just gonna take a couple of quick missions here we're gonna take the raiding party one here uh, and then we're going to take a second raiding party. We'll take them back to back. Um, we've got, you know, a fair amount of sea bills. I think the salvage that we get from this will be more than enough to pay off our uh, financial report for the month. I did sell a bunch of junk, the inner sphere stuff that we had. Uh, and you'll know, you notice that the Black Knight was in repair as well. One of the, or one of the Black Knights is in repair. So I kind of got it slightly updated. Almost the same loadout, but you'll you get a chance to see that. Uh, so we're going to bring the Mjolnir in, and the Mjolnir is actually running the three ER PPCs. We're just going to give it to Griff, uh, and it does have the advanced AMS. So we're just going to run this uh, Lance, which should be way more than enough. What's up with the Timberwolf here? Oh, I forgot to replace its arm. Tell you what, Six Pack, you run the Mjolnir, and we'll give Griff the uh, Stormcrow Prime. Let's deploy. All right, here we go. Landed somewhere in the area, eh? Probably right there. If I was, if I was having to guess at something. All right. Yeah. Well, let's do this. Receiving you. Copy that. All right. So I had a comment about uh, the amount of ammo in the. Um, Direwolf, and yeah, uh, the the reason why I had four tons of ammo in it uh, is because I expected it to fully be taking massive hits, um, and if I lost a ton somewhere, I didn't want to be short on ammo. It's the only reason why I did it. Um, but really, you know, realistically, if you look at it, um, even if we had three tons, we shouldn't really be going longer than twelve turns anyway. So I mean, I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Scorpion. Ranger, Behemoth, oh, really? Zephyr, Striker, okay, so this is a 100 tonner, right? 100 tonners in vehicles, okay. Whatever works for you guys. We got some, we got the range, we know what to do. Mjolnir, nice. Zephyr, SRM2, Bullet, and Furnace, Striker, let's see if we can hit the Infernus. Okay, good shooting. Enemy turn, Comstar. Ah, you can see us, eh? Light damage, Commander. What the Thank fuck? you. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, you need to be close. Let's get up over here. Uh, that will not be ultra 20 range. Let's just stay here. Aye, aye. J Edgar Flamers. They've got a lock on me. Yeah. He didn't have to come all the way over there to do it, but he just decided he was going to... He's all like, look at me. On the move. 
All right, now we got our PPC capacitor in this thing, and I forgot to turn it on, but that's fine. We're just going to target this guy. Yeah, hopefully we get a hit. Engaging. We got one hit. Nice, not bad. Front figures. We wouldn't have been able to kill it if we hit in the side anyway, so no big deal. Interested to see how this loadout is going to work here. Now, how much balls does Griff have? I know he's got a lot of balls, but... How many of them is he willing to use at this moment? I think our goal should be... Targeting the guys that, that are not the behemoth and getting rid of them, hopefully. Wow. Dude. Commander. Can we get... Roger. Full speed. That's an Ultra 20 range. Oof. It's Warlord, if one of these, if this one of these auto, ten, tw auto cannon 20 rounds hits the uh, side, this thing's toast. Firing. Yep. We drew first blood! Commander? Commander? Can we finish this guy up, please? Taking the shot. God, spread it around, spread it around. I'm there. Because we're running a lot of energy weapons, anything that's going to give us overheating problems, I'm trying to target first. If I can. Um. No idea how much, uh. Alright, this guy it is. You want a warlord? I don't think so, not yet. Oh, yeah, man. Warning. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Thank you very much. All right, the behemoth moved in a little bit. We are still going to stay back here until it gets a little closer, and then we'll decide to go around in the opposite direction from where it's coming from. So if it comes this way, we're going to come around this way. I think we'll try and... Make it so that it's like the last thing we kill here. You can't target. Oh yeah, because you got the ultra twenty. I keep forgetting that. Um, let's do this. Wow. You know, the fans were like cheering you on a second ago, and now they're all booing at you. <laughs> I think I told you the story of my football coach saying that to me. I was a shit football player. I was a shit sports player. But it was... I still have to laugh. I tried out as a receiver, and... Um, he... The quarterback threw the ball, made the catch, everything was great, and then the next time... Did this run the same play? Quarterback throws the ball and I drop it. And he's like, Ah, oh, that last play, the fans were cheering you on, and now they're throwing pop bottles at you. <laughs> yeah. I think I've mentioned this before. Feels like I have, because I, whenever I hear that, I hear that story, I automatically think of uh, this old lady I used to work with. I think I mentioned, mentioned her before, Blanche. She, her husband, Doug, used to, used to tell me that she used to, like, 
when they went to hockey games, she'd be like leaning over the boards behind the enemy team, hitting them in the head with the newspaper and stuff. Roll up piece of paper and she's swatting him in the head. She was a feisty one, I'll tell you. Tiny little thing, though. Alright. I'm actually not minding this triple ERPPC loadout. We gotta get... I gotta see if that capacitor is running in any way. Oh, no, right, because the Mjolnir does... Yeah, it does, uh... It does extra 15% automatically. Let's target this Mjolnir. Gotta cool off, firing. Um, yeah, let's just target this guy. Oops, not you, this one. And then we'll move. Nicely done. Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. eliminated. Confirmed. Commander? Firing. Gotcha. See what I mean about this black hat loadout? That hit something good. It's just such a good mech. For 75 tons, this loadout. So when you see the Black Knight loadout, it's an interesting one. I had a, I kind of cobbled it together from what I had. I want to get the second lance up and running, and I want to get it into play. So uh, we're gonna save that for the uh, Behemoth. Um, so I, I started getting it, getting it working, so that'll be back roughly around the same time the Direwolf's back. Then we'll have two mechs for a second lance. There he is. He is within striking distance. But I think we still... Uh, is he going to be able to shoot us, though? I don't know if he's got enough movement. He might have. I don't know. I think we'll probably be okay here. That hit something good. Like if we came around, it's pretty good chances to hit. But I don't think I want to um, tempt fate just yet. Damn it. Standing by. Acknowledge. Okay. Frag the vehicle. You did. You did frag a vehicle. Uh oh, this behemoth's gone now. Six packs. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. I was going to say the six pack was hung out to dry, but we get to move him now. Receiving you. Much as I want to shoot that guy in the ass, I think we need to kill this guy. Target acquired. Yep. Okay, Behemoth's turn. I didn't move far enough. Nice. 
We're not really needing that uh, AMS for this this match. Ooh, eight from eight hit. Yikes! Pot shot. Uh, yeah, let's leave these two off for now. Gotta get some heat back firing. Waiting for orders. Okay, we should be sheltered from the behemoth now. Than I thought it was going to be. The angle. The yeah, I had to take a shot and try. Negative damage. Repeat, negative damage. All right, let's get this behemoth. Um, side shots only, I guess. You want to go for the leg? 300. Look, look at the armor. It's freaking crazy. I think we have to. I think we go this route too. Okay, let's so start. Yes, Commander. I copy. It's actually pretty good chances to hit. Ooh, yeah. Make sure we leave room for uh, six pack here. Or Mockingbird, I mean. Uh, yep. Ooh, yeah. Okay, managed to avoid that fire. All we need is a couple of good hits here. There it is. Have a seat, buddy. Have a seat. Whew, okay. That's a start. Got SRM6 Inferno ammo and that thing, it just, you just get it all shot down by the AMS, so it's not going to bother. Yep. I'm under heavy fire. It's an awful lot of fours. It's a 100 tonner with a weak loadout. I don't know. I, I gotta say. The, uh, having the, um, AOE weapons on a 100 ton mech, I, uh, you're facing heavier mechs, you, you can't be AOEing them. Like, you gotta be pinpointing them. Because, I mean, look at this guy, right? If we were to hit this guy with a lot of, like, AOE damage, he's just gonna kill us. Right? We have to pinpoint him. There is no choice. And even then, it's got 360 armor in each of the legs, right? So without the uh, pinpoint damage, it's just, we're, you know, it's we're going to be in battle with this guy forever. Oh, yeah, man. What? That's a push. Did I not do that? Ah, whatever. 
firing. There we go. Mockingbird. Target down. See, and now if he had a really heavy loadout and weapons, he could have trashed us. Like if he wasn't shooting the uh, LBXs, if he was firing slug ammo, he could have shredded us. Thing's got no armor left. Anyway, that's the reason why I'm kind of unsettled on the uh, direwolf right now. I, I would rather have a good variety of weapons on it that are doing, you know, half decent heavy pinpoint damage. So that we can really take advantage of pulling other mechs down or focus firing them down. But with splash damage weapons, it's just not going to happen. Mission successful. But that being said, what I want to try and do, um, Fist of Dorn, you know, it's brought up some pretty good points about the hyper assault assault goths. Um, I might try to do a three goss rifle build on that guy. Um, see how it goes. Regular goss rifle in each arms, or each of the arms, and then a uh, hyper assault goss in the torso. See how it works. I don't think we'll be able to get anything else in there, so that'll be it. How much is this worth? Let's grab that. Because uh, we need sea bills. Hardened armor. Double the armor protection, double the weight. 50% resistance to critical hits. Yes, please. Uh, we, could buy, we could take this and sell it. Patchworks, protective padding. Fifteen percent resistance against critical hits. 0.25 tons. Now, is this for a specific location, or where does this go? Or is it everything? I don't know. Let's grab it. Let's grab it and check it out. One behemoth part, eh. And a bunch of stuff we can sell. Nice. Except for the AMS ammo, we need that. Okay. Took Carl Drea from Com Comstar, right? Okay. Five days. It's going to be less than that, I think. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map, though. So this planet was 104% under Comstar, and now it is down to 102. Wow. Now this is a solo combat, I think. For a rogue loot catch. 22 days. I don't think we can get there in time. No, it's 23 days I get there, so no. Alright, we'll take another mission on this planet. These ones are what? This is limiting gladiator in combat easy. Expires in 22. That means we're going to get more. Expires in 37. Limited drop, 55 tons. Now we would drop them one mech then. Okay, so let's uh, quickly go to the store. I want to sell it um, double XL engine, just so that I know we have enough sea bills for the end of the month. Do not want to be accidentally running out. Let's take this one. Wait, what? Oh, that's buying. Duh. <laughs> I was like. Oh, really? I was like, where the hell do we get the clan double XL engine from? Did I misread it? All right, let's sell this. 812,000. Nice. All right, cool. Now, let's take this other mission. This is against Comstar again. Unless there's something else that popped up. Eh, no. What's the weakest link? Jade Falcon. Yeah, let's go against Comstar. Feeling kind of guilty about going against Jade Falcon to get supplies, but Ghost Bear's in the Inner Sphere now, so I'll have to go pay them a visit. Let's take the bait here. Rassel Hag. Uh. Nah, let's go for the Falcon. Let's take this one. Full salvage. See what we get. 
Ah, we should fix our lance first, though, I think, probably, eh? What do you think? It's probably a good idea. <laughs> oh. If the world worked as fast as my brain worked, things would be so much better. My brain goes on overdrive sometimes. It's ridiculous. Now, I don't have any ER mediums. Ah. Uh, that's so why we have to go and get some more stuff. Uh, let's change the loadout a bit then. You can go in the arm. You can move over. Got two tons left over. Um, we could take this out. How do we manage to sink all this heat? Um, how do we manage to sink all this heat? Am I just blind? Oh, equally blind. <sighs> do we have a plus two? Please tell me we have a plus two. Probably not. Because why would I? Nope. Got a plus one though. Let's drop that in. And then double heat sink. Um, let's switch this around though. Let's put the large on the one side and ER on this medium on this side. Just in case we lose one arm or the other, we still have a heavy weapon on one arm. Uh, and then we need a double heat sink, so let's go back to the top here. Uh, here we go. Just throw it in here. Good enough. Let's confirm this. We gotta get some more stuff. Expensive to fix, but only takes a day. Alright, let's do this. Get the stuff back here. Okay. Should be ready to go, right? Uh, yep. Alright. Contracts. Let's hope for something good. Uh, let's go... Yeah, raiding party is what we were doing, right? Or forward observers. Which one's better, you think? Strike is coming soon. Here's up the scout lance. And this is... Yeah, let's go with this one. Usually has a... a uh, a backup lance with them. All right, let's pull out Stormcrow. Mjolnir can move up. There we go. Command All right, here we go. I think most of the fireworks have gone off for the night. I tried to wait till it was a little quieter. They were going off pretty heavy earlier, but. Pretty quiet out there now. Got one of those neighborhoods that there's a fair number of people that actually light off fireworks. So, still remember the the year that the people were this teenagers were shooting them down the street. Cops showed up pretty fast for that. Huh. And the one year that uh, the guy burnt down his house with fireworks, one street over, that was wonderful. Worst part about it, it was a uh, um, duplex a rental unit, and he burnt down his place and the place next to him. Uh, he didn't own it, but uh, yeah. So, got a bit of a scoop on that one, but it's a little crazy. Okay, let's move in. So, once Griff gets a chance to shoot with the uh, Mjolnir, we are going to see how long we can run with that PPC capacitor. So, let's see if we can pull this guy out of the battle early. Eh. Meh. All right, Griff. Can you target that vehicle over there? There you go. There you go. Oh. Shoot, I should have did it before I moved. Damn it all. Actually, can I do it now? I don't think so. Nah. PPC is in the hands of Griff. He'll turn you into a stiff. Um, let's get uh, down here in the trees. Good to go. Good to go. 
He's so matter of fact. All right, let's see how this works out here. Sarsen, dead fire ammo all around. Okay, he's got like nothing. Uh, let's just fire three. Ooh, not bad. Yeah, they can't see us. Commander. Rolling. Rolling. Oh. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. Way to go, buddy. Block it with your face. I think I mentioned this story too. My friend Dave lives in Australia now. Okay. I remember we were playing indoor soccer once and he was playing goal. And Dave wasn't really the most coordinated guy. Um, but he had a hard, lot of heart when he was playing sports. He ended up playing football. He was a lineman in football. He was really, really good. Ended up playing university football too. And um, it was kind of funny because uh, I still remember it. He was on my team and we were like, you know, playing away in the gym and um, the opposing yep. team, one of the players like gets right up with the ball and Dave runs out to cut, to, uh, um, cut off the angle and uh, the guy kicks the ball and Dave puts both of his arms outside beside him to try to cover as much as the net as he can. He takes the kick right into the face. And I just remember like the whole class starts laughing and, and I still remember the gym teacher laughing. He's just like, way to go, Dave. Block it with your face. I don't know. It was just really funny. Um, let's just keep moving forward. I didn't even look what these guys are. Chiquita, Charger. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Can you get eyes on, for Christ's sake, Griff? Okay, you can. So, let's... Does the PP... Do we have a PPC capacitor in this thing now? Do I even... Did I even bother putting it in? I don't think I did. I don't think I had the room. I think it was three tons. I think I left it out for the AMS. And here I am running this thing to try and figure out... Yeah, for Christ's sake. What ADHD does to you guys. See if we can get rid of this guy the easy way. Yep. Who needs a PPC capacitor, right? Am I right? Huh? Am I right? Rough terrain. What is up, Mr. Charger? Hammering him. Not much of a charge there, was it? Uh, Waiting for orders. Okay. Sure, buddy. I copy. Roger. Standing by. Takes it to the face. Should move more than that, buddy. Firing all weapons. See ya. That's a kill. Pilot lethal damage. That was better. Mission successful. All right, twenty-nine thousand. Eh. Did they shoot? Oh yeah, they did. They hit us with a tag for one point of damage. Hooray for that. Ooh, 400 engine. Ooh, we got two of them, but we're taking it because that's going to be worth C-bills. Heavy Pharaoh, we got one, but we haven't used it yet. I think it's... Heavy Pharaoh is nice, especially if you have a light mech, but in a heavier mech, it just uses up way too many slots. It's like 15 dynamic slots taken up. It's like, really? Uh, you know, what can you do with it? You can't do much. Ah, uh, patchwork, why not? And what? Um, not taking any mech parts. Uh, these are worth 32000 if I sell them. That's a little bit more. Sure, we'll grab the core. We'll just grab it for the sea bills. Although, Heavy Pharaoh... Now nah, we're never going to have another light... I don't think we're going to have enough time to do our light lance again. Because with the... Um, 
with the uh, Urban Warfare coming out, things are going to change again. I'll probably restart the series or a different series at that point. So I got three charger parts. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, geez. Comstar's taking a planet back from Jade Falcon. That is a fight going on, eh? All right. So let's get handicapped. Didn't take any damage. So we're going to go in handicapped here. Because why not? we got a little time before the episode ends here. So we're going to go and go right into forward observers. We're a little tired, but why not? Right? Let's just do this. We could do two missions in one day, right guys? Alright, let's find this scout lance and wipe it out. All right. Yes, Commander. Got it. Waiting for orders. Why well, they would be at this aban okay. abandoned factory, I don't know, but whatever. It's okay. We're gonna take care of it. I had to step in the building, didn't you, Griff? That. It's just in the way. You have hostile contacts inbound. Really? Because I never would have guessed. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Crab, trebuchet, shadowhawk, and a chicada. Huh. Ooh. Yeah, let's give it to this guy. And we are going to Warlord. Because why not? Nice shooting. Inflicted some heavy damage. What's up, boss? Let's see if we can finish the Shadowhawk off. How's that sound? Reporting enemy contact. I think that's a good idea. Hmm. I don't know if we need a warlord. Not with this, we don't. Critical hit, Commander. Let's finish this guy up, hopefully. Hopefully. There we go. It's not that he was really a threat, but it's the best target to shoot at the time. What do we got down here? Saladin. Okay, that guy's got to go. It's the Mark II. I think it's got the Ultra Auto Cannon on it. Commander? Rolling. Yep. Uh, yes, yeah, the Ultra 20. Target Not it matters, but better get rid of it just in case. Okay, so there's something else down there too. Oh, it's over there. Another Shadowhawk. Trench bucket. On my way. It's a crab. Firing a full salvo. Wow, my wife showed me this video. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, it's a uh, hermit crab that found itself a new shell, and it was the severed head of this doll, and it's going across the the sand with this weathered severed head from this doll with no hair and it's just you just see this head moving until until you realize there's a crab pulling it along anyway it was kind of funny it was kind of funny 
back, Commander. What do you think? We take the head off this guy. Cause why not? We get it? Nah, we can't do two missions in a row. He's got no torsos left though. It's a stickada. Get it? Stick Ada? Because now it's a stick. Ha ha. Alright. It's just Shadowhawk, right? Yeah. This guy's going to be screwed here in a second. Nope. Sure. <laughs> It's totally worth it. Every time, it's totally worth it. We'd never get away with this shit against a uh, a higher level mission, but we're doing it now because it's so much fun. Wrecked them. Still coming in, eh? Nah, he's shooting. Okay. Going full throttle. Let's target the crab. Think I hit something good. You most certainly did. Have a seat. All right. Couple turns, this should be finished up. You'd think, though, at this point, that Commando would be fleeing for his life. Like, he knows he has to know what's coming. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. He's like, I'll just stealth over here into the trees. Oh, shit! That was the end of that. Waiting for orders. Can you get to that crab? You most certainly can. See if we can kill the leg on this guy. Nope. That guy sure ain't having a good day, that's for sure. Chance to hit this guy. Eh. Wow, we missed two of them? That's crazy. Yeah, so I'd, I'd, I'd love to see a battlefield with a lance of four mechs and two vehicles. If we could drop that in. And if you're playing the clans, then it can be five mechs and an elemental. Or, sorry, it can be five mechs or four mechs and two elementals. That'd be kind of cool. But then you can even have it, you could even limit the tonnage of the vehicles to like maximum of 120 tons. So you could have a 100 ton vehicle and a 20 ton vehicle or a pair of 60s or a 50 and a 70 or something like that or even make max it at, max it at 100 tons or something. Standing by. I'd buy that for a dollar. Alright, let's just... Uh... Sure. This should be good. Eliminated. Waiting for orders. All right. One more for the trash heap. Commander. On my way. 
Just gonna take the pot shots. Firing on target. We get the head, it's totally worth it. Fail to connect. We're all like, yeah, it's a game. The first person with the headshot wins. This guy just thinks we're bad shots. Wow, he, he, yeah. Speaking of bad shots. Minimal damage on that hit. Yes, Commander. Well, yeah, Rhino gets first attempt. Copy that. Yeah. Okay, Griff. Nope. All right. Waiting for orders. You got the range, girl. So let's see what you can do with it. Wow, the best chance to hit too. There you go. Oh, it was a torso hit though. Ah well. There it is, folks. Three missions up, three missions down. Mission successful. Alright, contract payment increased by 20%. We definitely needed those easy missions. Ah, almost no experience, but that's fine. We don't really care. Everyone's going to be super tired now, though. But we're jumping off this planet anyway. We are leaving. Ultra 20. You know, we're having a f hard time finding Clan Ultra 20, so I should just grab that. Oh, gonna grab that. Regular double heat sinks. 250 core we'll grab. And the Ultra 20. Ah, three trebuchet parts and some other stuff that we can sell. Okay, not so bad. Okay. 29,000 repairs, so that's really nothing. So next episode, when I log back in, I will determine where we're going to go. Uh, it really depends on what the map is like at that moment, but we're going to leave everything the way it is for now. Get the Dire Wolf back. I think I'm going to try... Um, we're going to have two Gauss Rifles, one on each arm, and then maybe the Hyper, hyper Assault Gauss in the torso, if, they, if it'll fit. That's 36 tons plus ammo. So I'm not sure what that's going to be like but I mean we don't have to worry about heat overheating too much because that those things shouldn't overheat at all so we're going to run that that way let's have a look at the star map here real quick just to see this was 104 percent for Comstar and down to 99 well I mean they were three easy missions so we're not going to be doing that much to it but uh, looks like we got some fighting to do here against Comstar we'll find a good planet go after them probably right there Trollock Prime it's probably going to have uh, some Jade Falcon missions on it, so we might go there. It really just depends on, you know, what the map looks like when we come back in. It's always shifting day by day, so it's really hard to tell, which is why I don't want to try and record too many episodes in advance, because it's just, I like to try and keep the map as as current as possible, um, just so that you guys are seeing what, what's what's being done, and if, if we're actually having any effect on anything, which, you know, we're, we generally don't, but the other players do, so... All right, so we're leaving the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. What do you think about the three Gauss Rifle uh, Dire Wolf build with the two regular Gauss Rifles, one on each arm, and a Hyper Assault Gauss in the torso? You know, give me your opinion. Let me know what you think. We'll try it out. Pro more, we're gonna, I'm probably going to try it out anyway, um, but just let me know what you think of you know, how it's going to run, uh, and that'll be like next episode. Probably I'll have it up and running. All right, so until then, we'll see you all later.